Hello and thank you for joining me on this video, an update of the Turog building. Obviously there's been quite a lot of talk uh, on Facebook groups as you'd expect, so I thought I'd jump on a video to explain uh, what's happened so far and what the plan is. Um, and obviously a lot of you are concerned there's going to be some more barbers here, uh, but uh, here to reassure you that's probably not going to happen. Uh, so on a nice crisp day today I thought I'd come and uh, just run a few things through with you. Uh, and then we'll have a quick walk around the site. Uh, we'll, talk, we'll talk to Josh, who's the main builder on site as well, uh, and we can discuss what's happening. And then probably, uh, apart from Christmas, obviously, we'll pop down every week uh, and do an update every Friday. So you can see the progress that's being made. Uh, obviously, uh, for me, the most important thing is that the building's getting done now. Uh, so obviously it didn't happen as quick as I wanted. Uh, we got hit with delays with planning, which everyone always does. COVID hit and I have had um, a little bit of an illness uh, the, like this last year, which I've now just recovered from. So once I recover from them, I thought we'd get going straight away uh, with this. And as I arrived back at work, following some operations, we got straight onto the building work and that's number one goal for me to get this building back up and running. Most important thing, like I said, is the building is getting refurbished. Uh, and again, I know there's a lot of people saying, oh, let it be this and let it be that. But again, for me, the most important thing is the building's actually getting done up. Uh, I originally purchased the building because uh, again, like most of you, I drive past this building every day. Uh, as an estate agent, I drive past it at least a dozen times a day, going back and forth to different houses. Um, but again, it, it, it's, it's unsightly and again, such a landmark building with the ghost sign at the sign of Chirog. So first and foremost, as I said in a video about two and a half, three years ago, um, the sign will stay. As you can see, it's opened up now. We're actually getting goalpost RSJs. We've getting, uh, hopefully the pad stones will be put in tomorrow with the supports and the holes that have been dug are literally one meter by one meter really really strong supports there to make sure that that um, landmark sign stays and is upright with any without any danger of falling down so um, we'll have a have a look around um, to answer some of your questions what's it going to be um, and uh, planning is approved for two shops and one flat above and that's what it's going to be um, there's obviously the end shop here which was the old taxi rank and just underneath the Turog sign that's going to be shot one. That will be occupied by my estate agency. We'll be opening up an Earl and Branch here. Um, and the shop uh, next to it in the middle, uh, obviously that'll be for rent. I don't know who's going to be there yet, because again, it's too early. Not advertised, I'm sure. A few people will approach me um, while these uh, videos are going on. Uh, but again, I'll update as and when we get some interesting parties in that flat. The end of the property is not mine. Uh, it's owned by the garage, um, so again, we won't be touching that end of the building. We'll literally be doing the first sort of three quarters uh, and, and getting that up to shape. So, as you can see, uh, we only started work with, uh, this week and already the old taxi rank has gone uh, and knocked, knocked that down and it's all exposed so you can see straight through. Um, and uh, starting next week, we will be rebuilding that because again, the whole walls were not safe and uh, had been open to the elements for so many years that it just all needed to come down so we will be uh, rebuilding where the old taxi rank is uh, so that'll be all with new bricks uh, and again we'll put a nice flat roof on it um, underneath the Turog sign so it's not affected at all um, so it's uh, all nice and well I'm just going to readjust the video uh, a bit of sun in our eyes there um, so that's going to be rebuilt uh, next week uh, the look of the building from the outside, again, as it is now, it's rendered in white. We're going to keep that, but obviously do it new. So we're going to re-render the whole of the building in uh, just off-white. Uh, going to get some nice new anthracite windows in, nice and modern. Uh, and I'm actually planning to have the this taxi ramp area, which has been knocked down and rebuilt. We're actually planning to put uh, wooden slat panels on that as well. So give it a nice, modern, fresh feel to the whole building and as you come in you're going to be greeted with a nice modern building and not a uh, derelict mess which is no good uh, at all so let's go and have a tour and then we'll uh, have a quick chat with Josh see where we're up to um, and see what the plan is for next week but in answer to your questions uh, no flats no knocking down the truck sign stays that's integral to me as a as a as a person as a local business 
um, that that stays. Um, so two shops, one flat. Let's go and have a quick walk around the building. So just out the front of the building now, you can see all the scaffolding. So uh, my boundary is about there. So all that is the garage. And then obviously we're gonna be doing all this up. So obviously, like I said, this is all gonna be rebuilt and we'll go in and have a look. So this is where the big uh, steel structure is going to be. So nice big RSJ goalposts. These are where the past stones go. So we just already cut them out. So we'll secure this wall. Uh, windows are going to stay where they are and you're going to have the main entrance to my office just here. This will be all bricked up and this is going to be shop number two. And just behind me, um, so obviously we're going to have a new building here, which will be part of our office. Toilet will go here and there is some stairs that go here and into what's going to be called a kitchen area for uh, Oliver James estate agents. Uh, so into shop two now and then obviously you've got your shop front here which is going to come out uh, We're going to put a nice big window and a door in Obviously get it look nicer And you've got to the back of this you've got uh, which is going to be shop two's kitchen Which is just here and obviously we're going to put a new toilet and sink area with a new wall here I know it's difficult to see with it being quite uh, dark it's actually single skin wall these as well so we're gonna have to get that well insulated um, and there is going to be access from the back here so there's gonna be a doorway here with stairs going up all the way up into the flat above so this will be blocked up these stairway here it's quite a bit of a void underneath here as you can see so we're gonna uh, take this floor out and put in a new one lower down again because this is gonna be the kitchen area for my estate agency and we'll pop upstairs now. It's just about safe. Uh, and again, just to show you the mess of the building inside, it is really poor. Uh, obviously, we've stripped it down a bit, but it's, uh, it's in a bit of a mess. There's going to be a new floor here, doorway coming about there, um, from uh, where the taxi ramp places and stairs up. And we're going to have an access point in at the back to the back garden area which is going to be access for the my kitchen and the flat um, upstairs as well with some bin storage and as we go in we walk into another bit of a mess and I just this is going to be the flat upstairs so I'll try and get you a, a better view so again you're going to have second bedroom here obviously we're putting a whole new roof structure on it's not just tiles we're taking the whole roof off with all the beams, we're gonna redo the whole thing, get it looking nice. Uh, so you've got bedroom number two here, bathroom is gonna be here, and bedroom number two is gonna be here. So bedroom two, bathroom, and a second bedroom, and just through here is gonna be the open plan kitchen and lounge. Again, new window there, that's your Trug sign wall there as well. Just gonna make sure that's all nice and safe. And again, a whole new roof structure in there as well. So let's go and have a look at the back and then we'll have a quick word with Josh uh, at JW Landscaping. Uh, and again, if you find this interesting, feel free to tag any of your friends or share it to them if they want to see the progress of this building. Got a nice bit of air conditioning there already, uh, but we'll get all that sorted. So you've got the rear of the property here now, so we're going to build a new boundary wall, probably get it nicely rendered. Uh, there's going to be an access door here to the kitchen and there's gonna be another access door to the flat, which will be how the people living in the flat get in. And obviously we'll get all this nicely rendered uh, to look nice and sharp. Are you joining me with Josh from JW Landscaping, who's the great man that's taken on this job uh, and getting it back up into a fit and a nice standard. So we can get the building look nice and sharp and modern. So if you yeah. could just run through with me what you've done so far very quickly and just what your plans are for the next week yeah, before so we'll come back. Basically what we've done is the old taxi part used to be here, obviously we've flattened that which is then going to be rebuilt up with block work and basically uh, turned back to well, what it was but because uh, it wasn't structurally safe uh, that's what we're having to do um, and the other thing is obviously we've got some big uh, some big steel posts going in here to hold this old uh, wall which obviously we're keeping because obviously 
the heart of Erlen. So obviously behind me is the steels that have been uh, going into place. Uh, and yeah, we basically uh, ripped the whole place apart. Uh, yeah, it was quite. It was quite a mess. Yeah, so it was quite yeah, a mess. It was so quite a mess. So it literally, in the last five days, they've pulled everything apart, cleaned it all out. We've had sulphur grab here and everything. Yeah. Uh, not they've not walls down, and they've just dug out ready for the pad stones for the um, the RSJs and things like that. Yeah. Which you've got here waiting, and um, it's just a case of uh, start making the building nice and secure. The yeah, roofer starts get next week as well. In and get all the uh, roof structure all uh, stripped off and uh, get all the new joists on and uh, tiles. Yeah. And yeah. So starting yeah. on the roof. So next week, by the time we come back next week, you'd have started on the yeah, steel, started so it's started on the roof. Yeah, and that's the plan. on the roof and then obviously it'll be to, uh, obviously while the uh, scaffolds up and everything to get the uh, render lads uh, back in and obviously uh, get the outside uh, more uh, turning into a white modern render feature. Yeah, of course. And we're going to come across problems. I mean, we had a problem this morning with the electric. There was an old circuit board here that we thought was dead. Uh, and Electricity northwest of it uh, yeah. out this morning. So they've been out, uh, out, so, 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 out. So, uh, so if anybody lost power down the road, uh, that's the reason why. Yeah, so we've got Josh got straight on it and within an hour they're, they're here and they've sorted it so hopefully everything's back on the running. But these problems are going to happen on such yeah, a big job. Yeah, uh, yeah I mean these problems are going to happen, you uh, face them head on and deal with them, don't you? That's, that's right, them. that's right. They always okay. get sorted out in the end. They do. The most important thing I was saying to everyone that's watching this video is the building's getting sorted and that's all that matters. Yeah, yeah they're getting sorted. It'd be nice to uh, get it uh, looking uh, nice again. Okay. Well, thanks, Josh. Yeah. I'm no sure problem. we'll see you next yeah, week. Yeah, you'll see me again and, next uh, week. So there you have it. Um, if there is any questions, feel free to message them below, or if you want to send me a direct message, feel free to do that. Uh, I'm an open book with this. Uh, again, the most important thing is we'll get it done, and we'll get it done right, looking nice. Uh, and again, if there's any questions, feel free to um, write them below. Uh, or send me a message. If not, I will see you again for an update video next week um, and we'll see how the builds are progressing and we'll follow them through this whole journey. So again, thanks for watching and feel free to tag any of your friends or click share for me. Uh, no problem at all and uh, I'll see you then.